Hi, my name's Sam, and I'm from SkySiv Engineering Software. Have you ever wondered how structural analysis software actually works? Well, today we're going to go behind the scenes, take a look at how we take millions of lines of code and turn it into the software that you see today. We'll look at the different parts of software, how they function, and as a bonus, we'll even explore what an API is. Firstly, it's important to note that there are two parts to, to structural analysis software, or any software for that matter. The first is the user interface, or the UI, and that's what the user sees. The second part is the back end. For us, that includes an FEA engine and design calculation checks. Structural analysis software combines these two to make the structural engineer's job a lot easier. So now let's take a look at a very simple example. Here I have a JS Fiddle, which combines my HTML, my CSS, and my JavaScript to display some form of a UI to the user. Here we're going to use a very simple example of just building a calculator that divides a number by two. So here we can see our HTML, it's got our title, uh, it's got some form of input, and we can add various other elements to the page, such as a button, which will perform the action. So you can see that's making up the bones or the structure of the page. Next we have the CSS, and this controls the styling or the appearance of our UI. So you can see we have some preset uh, styling such as the border of this button or the font size of this title, and we can control these, for instance changing the color of that button to red, and you can see that, uh, that um, alters the appearance of the UI. Finally we have the JavaScript, which is the brains of the page. So here we're taking the various HTML elements, such as the button, um, assigning a, a function to run when that button is clicked, taking some input, producing some output, and then displaying that output to the user. So it's very simple. So here, if we were to put a number in here and run that function, that's JavaScript that's performing the calculations to show the user that 280 divided by two is 140. That's a very simple example, but now let's expand that out to very complex software, such as structural analysis software. This is literally compiled of millions of lines of code, which are performing little actions to help the user do their job. So the first part is the UI, um, which in this case is built out of HTML. So you can see the buttons, um, the graphics, any input fields that you have, they're all part of the, uh, the UI, and in our case, we're using HTML. Now, it all looks very nice because we've applied styling to it. That styling in web languages is CSS. So that's creating the curves on the buttons, the nice colors that you see. Now, when we start to interact with the software, that's where the magic really happens. So if I start to rotate, that's JavaScript performing. So that's the brains of the software. It's updating the node locations um, and visually representing that back to the user um, so they can interpret what their model looks like. I can uh, perform operations like right-clicking and splitting, member, sp splitting members. Um, these are small algorithm, algorithms that help the user uh, perform modeling actions. Again, that's using the brains of the software, in this case, JavaScript. When I'm ready to solve, I'll hit the solve button. And this will then send my JSON object, which is all my input of this model, out to our servers in Chicago. And it's done that in a matter of very few seconds. It's gone from here in Australia all the way to Chicago, perform the structural analysis, come back again, for, for ready for me to interpret my results. It's pretty incredible if you think about it. Once the analysis results come back, again, we're using the UI to represent those results to make it easy and user-friendly for our engineers to understand. So as a bonus, I thought we'd take a look at an API and how APIs are helping structural engineers automate their processes and work more efficiently. So an API is simply a way to bypass the user interface. So instead of launching the software or manually building your model or interpreting the results, you can automatically connect to the API technology. For us, it's our analysis engine, our design checks, our reporting, and, and perform those actions automatically. So in this example, I'm going to perform a simple structural analysis. So I'm going to pass the node information, the member data, and sections directly into our solver. And what that's going to do is return to me the results of the analysis, the reaction forces, the displacements, the stresses, etc. So what I can do is write smart scripts to interpret those results and perform some additional action to automate that task. So if we look at a simple example, I've taken our existing JS Fiddle and modified it to connect to uh, the SkySiv API. And all I'm going to do is input a force, and that's going to give me the max bending force on a sort of preset structure. 
So here we've chosen simply to display the max bending force that's come back from the structural analysis. However, it has run a full FEA, so you do have all the results including reactions, stresses, um, and other forces included in the, in the analysis results. On top of that, the API can be used to run design checks for steel, wood, cold form sections, concrete. It can also uh, calculate um, your wind loading requirements, as well as um, building your model and storing it in your cloud storage. It can even give you the reports, such as your analysis or your design check reports. And what that's essentially done is taken a very manual process, because if you think about how we would do this normally, we would have to open up the software, we would have to model the structure, apply loads, solve it, and then manually interpret those results to perform some sort of action. Here, we managed to do it with a click of a button, using the analysis, interpreting the results, and printing the max bending force that exists in that structure. So you can see how APIs have the ability to improve our workflows as structural engineers. So there you have it. That's our software explainer video. I hope that helps you understand how structural analysis software works. If you did enjoy this video, there's plenty more at our YouTube channel, so subscribe now. Otherwise, we'd love to see you on the platform soon. Thank you.